And today we're meeting with Doug McCorkle to talk about his film that he starred in, which is I Am an Electric Lampshade. And I'm Doug McCorkle, and I'm the star of I'm an Electric Lampshade. <laughs> it's great to meet you, Michael. Tell me how much of this is your life, your actual life. I was a corporate accountant. I did retire. That was my actual retirement party. Um, I did train to be a performer and a singer. I had never done it before. Um, I had never danced before. So all the training that I went through, all the, um, uh, all the preparation for the ultimate live performance in Mexico City, um, that all really happened. The storyline of the film um, is actually about me and my aspirations and my dreams and, my, and what I really want you know, to do after I retired, which is certainly not what most people do. John Doyle, who's the writer and director of the film, um, spent about three or four months actually interviewing me and taking copious notes about dreams, aspirations, my past, my history, what I had done um, for many years, because I was a corporate accountant for many years, um, and an executive. And, and uh, yeah, and then from that, he took part of the story that was real, and, and from the rest of it, he, we created this amazing journey for Doug in the film. We started back in 2016, uh, back when I was still working, and then um, it, uh, I retired, and then I had more time to dedicate to it. And that's when we decided to head off to Manila and shoot um, the San Andres Finishing School. And that was an amazing experience um, because we got to work with some um, just amazing people, both the actors in the film, the drag performers, who are actually drag performers in, in the Philippines. It was really incredible, and that was my first time in Manila, and that was um, a real eye-opening experience. I got to work with some amazing dancers who were coaching me, and, and I was working with two vocal coaches, and I was working with a performance coach, um, all of whom just took me from this, this novice uh, and as my performance coach Robin Dunn said, uh, she said, we're giving you a crash course in like performing. Most people take years to do this. And she said, we're going to get you ready in eight months. And, uh, and they, they did a phenomenal job. On everybody's part. On everybody's part. I was actually wondering when I was watching it, I'm like, was this scripted? Because it doesn't seem like it could be scripted like no. this. No. John actually had to write the script after we finished filming the movie, which is... Absolutely backwards, of yeah. course, for everybody, but that's, that's just how we filmed it. I think the timing of it right now with COVID having happened and everything else is really helping. For me, it's saying, you know what, this is what life is about. Yeah. And stop focusing on the other things around, focus on what you need to focus on. It's just really poignant to me at this point in time. Well, also, it's, you know, follow your dreams. I mean, what? Uh, if, if you truly believe that you only go around once, why are you going to wait until the very end and then look back and go, gee, I wish I had fill in the blank. And, and this is a movie about somebody who you know, just grabs for it and says, I may succeed or I may fail, but at least I'll have tried it. Exactly. And, and that's part of being present.